Well, good morning, everybody. We all know what we're doing today. So, just to keep this as short as possible, not getting into a whole lot of stuff. It is dark, obviously. Um, I had the suggestion putting her by the window. I did go buy her a um, stand to hold her up because she didn't come with one. Um, she is from a haunted box um, that was gifted to me from one of my friends. And she, uh, I will say there's been a lot more activity since she's been in here. And she does have a vibe. And I thought, you know, why not? Let's try putting her by a window and see if it helps. The spirit that kept talking through from her has not been a woman. It's been a man. Um... And uh, we don't know. Is there spirit attachment a man? Is it a woman? Or, you know, the vessels can be used by anybody. Not just one. It can be used by someone traveling through and using her to speak. It doesn't have to be someone sticking with her. Same with any of my dolls. Um, so we're doing a red light today. Thank you, Marlo, for all this equipment because I've been using the living daylights out of this equipment. And I'll tell you what, my red light today is being powered by just a box. And if you see me out at cemeteries using my lights or any place using my light, it is powered by these, uh, they're like five, six dollars at Walmart. Um, just a simple uh, power pack that you charge your cell phones with. That's all they are. I think they're up to maybe $7 now. I don't know. But that's all I use. So it is portable on the go. I love it. Thank you so much, Marl. This stuff is amazing to use. And I love that um, tripod. I take it everywhere. I have my spirit talker. I have my EMF thing. Um, I did not clear my stuff in the background. Sorry. It's still up there. But... Um, Yes, it's still dark at 6 o'clock. It's still dark here at 7 o'clock. It is what it is. We're going to turn on a spirit talker. And is there anybody here that would like to speak to us? Is there any spirits in my apartment? I'll tell you guys. One night I come out and there were cupboard doors open. There were drawers open. A stand had a cupboard door. I had a door open on it. Um, ah. Are you kidding me? I was just playing a song. Um, are you dancing? Or dancing in the sky. I was just playing that. Are you kidding me? Um, yeah. It, it's been very active in here. And I heard stuff fall. Uh, what I heard fall was my tarot cards are always on the table. And all of them fell on the floor except for one deck. And they weren't where they should have been on the floor. They were dead center of the table. Can you tell me who's here with us? And my little death orbs are so active. And last yesterday... While I sat in the living room, a bright light shot across my living room floor. I don't sometimes. Use... Sometimes. Now, my phone has been overheating within minutes, so hopefully this will get through. Can you give me a name? Are you attached to one of these uh, dolls or something in my apartment? Can I have my childhood. An... Is there something here from your childhood that you're attached to? There's a teddy bear. That was in the same box.
Can you tell me something about your childhood? I also have Fritz's baby shoes on one of my dolls. Xavier's wearing them. He gave them to me years ago. Don't leave. I won't leave. I'll be right here. I'm always here. All you have to do is talk to me. Can you tell me who's talking to me? You know, if I move, describe. you go. Yes, I want you to describe to me who you are. Tell me your name. Where you came from? You know, if I move from here, you go with me, right? If you're something that belongs to something in this apartment or somebody that's from my childhood or somebody that's attached to me personally. Are you attached to over the... there? Can you tell me over where? Are you attached to a doll? Attached to something on my stand? Can you tell me a name? Can you just stop beating around the bush and tell me a name? Don't be secretive. I deserve that Emerge. much. Emerge. You want to emerge? Show yourself. I'm open to it. Don't be so secretive. Don't beat around the bush. I deserve that much. I tolerate the sounds. I tolerate the movement. I sat here this morning and heard stuff fall and there shouldn't have been anything to fall. Came out and there was nothing. I deserve to. Do I not deserve an answer? I think I deserve the courtesy enough of... I've, I've never had that name before. Ryan, are you attached to one of these dolls or the teddy bear or... Are you just a wandering spirit? Sorry. 
suffer. Can you tell me how you suffered? Were you a child or an adult? Is there a spirit with this doll that's standing in front of me? Go forward. Are you attached to this doll right here? The guys, I'm trying to keep this as uncut as possible. That's why I'm not going to add an intro or anything. Shot. Ryan, are you here from possibly the, the war? Or did something terrible happen to you other than serving in the war? I can use this. Yes, you can. You can speak to me through this. You can also come and touch this and it lets me know you're here. It just lights up and it might beep depending on how close you come to it. Nothing I have here will hurt you. You just thought is a way for you to communicate to me. Who's speaking? Um, you are speaking through my device, and I am Laura. I'm the one that lives here. You're using the words in the device to speak to me. I'm going to assume this person maybe served in the war years ago. My voice is heard. See if you can see that. Yes, your voice is being heard. We can also basically hear you or see you, know you're here by just you touching this. We won't actually see you, but we'll know that you're here. If you touch this box right here that's lit up, it will the numbers on it will change. And if you touch it good and hard come really, really close to this part up here, it will beep. And it just lets us know that you're here so that it's just another way for us to know where you're at. Eric. Eric. Do we have more than one person here now? How many spirits are with us? Can I have a number? Can we take a roll call? And welcome, Eric. Just a reminder to everybody here, you cannot harm me, you cannot touch me, you cannot physically or mentally do me any harm. You're only welcome in my home is if you are a decent and kind soul. You cannot touch me or do me. Breathe. 
I'm sorry to hear that. Is that what happened to you? Any entities or spirits with evil intentions are not welcome in my home. We shouldn't have any come through, people, because I cleansed my home yesterday after taking down my Christmas decorations minus my tree because I need to get a... That's the second time... It's asked me either not to leave or to stay. Can the person that's wanting me not to leave or to stay please tell me who you are? I would like to know who I'm talking to. And how did you know I was planning on moving? It's Grandma. Which grandma? I have one in particular that's been very heavy in my heart lately. And you know, grandma, you go with me. Sitting. Where are you sitting? Can you tell me if you're sitting beside me or sitting in the living room? Sit. Yes, but where are you sitting? Can someone come and touch this and just let me know that you're here before I end this session? Any one of you that are here, like Grandma, perhaps, would you come up and just let me know you're here before I end this session? Just come up and touch this right here. Just let me know that you're here. Could you do that for me? Joseph. Okay, no, that's too much. That is way too much. Sorry, you guys, I just kicked the table leg. Joseph, are you here? Joe? Can you or Grandma reach out and touch that? I have so many spirits from my past that have been coming through my life lately that it is just unbelievable. Church. Church. My grandma was very, after, after she moved back to her hometown, she was very into church. Ryan. And we got Ryan again. Ryan, can you tell me who you're attached to? I don't want to make this too long because people don't like to watch long videos. Can 
can one of you come up and touch this right here? What's in your hand? What's in my hand? It's called a cell phone. I know you guys, some of you may not know what a phone is completely, and some of you don't understand that phones are no longer attached to the wall. We can walk around with them in our hands, take them everywhere we go. And they have all kinds of things on them, apps and things that we can do. And that's what I'm talking to you on. This is an, called an application. It's a way for me to communicate with you. Annie. Annie. I have a niece named Annie. I also have relatives that have been long gone. Annie's a name that is well known in our family. Our family came over on the good ship, Anne. Back in the late 1500s or early 1600s, I can't remember which. I was really hoping somebody would communicate through the dial or touch that box. Wonderful. Well, I'm glad you appreciate it. <laughs> the phone in my hand or whatever it is you think is wonderful. The doll, is that what's wonderful? Can you explain what's wonderful? I really appreciate you talking to me. Could Grandma or Joe come back and tell me something so I know it's you? Make a knock, one of you, push something. Make a noise, touch that box over there so it beeps. That would be wonderful. That was me moving in the chair. Or just say- I died suddenly. I'm very sorry to hear that. Neither one of those people died suddenly. Well, if nobody wants to uh, come through and communicate or verify, you know, who you are, or touch that box over there, I'm going to have to say goodbye. That was strange. I could have sworn that box flashed but didn't really do anything. <laughs> How weird. I don't know if it showed on the camera or if it was just the way I was moving. I like to come here. Well, I'm very glad that you feel welcome as long as you are not causing problems and not hurting me. I don't mind you being here. But you have to respect me and respect my home and my belongings. You cannot attach yourself. And if it's you, Grandma, or Joe, if I leave here, you know you go with me, correct? Or any of my other family and friends. which I feel they're always with me anyways. It's not just me here. I know, this house is like a circus of people. 
somebody told me it was like a train station, like people wander through here, and some people stay and visit, some people leave, some people just wander through. I'm going to ask one more time before I end the session. Could somebody please come up and just give this a touch right here? Grab right a hold of it, please. I beg of you. <laughs> it would be a nice gesture on your part. But that's okay if you're not comfortable with that or you don't have the strength. I there are demons. Are there demons in my home? Do I need to cleanse one more time? Well, I don't want this to be too long. I want to tell everybody goodbye and thank you for talking to me. I'm going to end this now. Goodbye, everybody. And there's all the words that came through. So you can see them all. Chairs. Chairs. I have two, two chairs in the living room and one here in the kitchen. That's all the chairs in my home. Thank you so much for being here. And everybody, I'm going to go ahead and push stop. And I want to thank everybody for joining me. I know I didn't get any activity on the thing, but a lot of responses. Um, Grandma and Joseph are both people from my past. Um, and Annie, uh, another person from my past that I'm assuming is not deceased. Um, but anyways, I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It shows that only 12% of the people that watch my video are subscribed. I would appreciate if you would subscribe and hit that like and comment down below. Um, thank you for watching and let me know if you want to see more of these. I still have the teddy bear and a bracelet that was sent in this box I need to work with. Thank you so much. Love y'all. Bye, everybody.